Welcome to episode 3095, Victor Vexelberg, Nine Lessons. This is picture of Victor Vexelberg with his wife and two children. This is an outline of episode 1395, lesson 1 to 5. This is lesson 6 to 9. Lesson 1, why he endears to Putin, because he's always talking, making Russia great again. Even maybe one hand a little late to start to decide this question because Russia is a very rich country. It's a very powerful country, a lot of the nature resources. Lesson two, four citizenships. At one time, he probably has four citizenship, Russian, Israel, Cypriot, and Ukrainian. Lesson three, he's a Russian oligarch. Make no mistake, he got very rich long before Putin met him. In years. Six years, the Soviet Union had been in upheaval. The communists were losing their grip, and they attempted a coup for freedom itself. A flying partner with Wesselberg in metal trading, first in copper, later in aluminum, and they made a fortune. And for his business partner was his Jewish classmate, Len Blavanik. Blavanik is the richest Ukrainian in the world, and he's an American citizen now. The important part of his life then was he met in Blavanik. Wesselberg was his classmate. They were both born in Ukraine. They were both Jewish. And they will both become Russian oligarchs. In 2013, Rosneft acquired TNK BP for $55 billion. After the Rosneft deal, Viktor Vexelberg was at one time the richest man in Russia. And five on the strength and weakness of Russia. Poor today on the capability to transfer idea to market. And, uh, commercialization, how we call it, today is a very weak feature of Russian economy. As in six, as philanthropist, he donated more than one billion dollars to Skotech. Robert has donated more than one billion dollars to Skotech to build the Silicon Valley of Russia located in Moscow. And seven, clever tongue. He only talks about his philanthropy. He never talks about how he made his fortune. As an aid, his tax evasion record. And he's also on the U.S. sanction list. He was recently placed on the round of, uh, of U.S. sanctions, the ones that were implemented just in April, uh, because he was perceived to be that close to Vladimir Putin. As a nine, secretly donated to Trump via his cousin in the United States. Michael Cohen stands, and this is breaking, accused of taking half a million dollars from a sanctioned Russian oligarch during Donald Trump's presidency. Uh, this company, Columbus Nova, which is this U.S. company that's affiliated with a Russian company owned by this oligarch with ties to Putin. So Columbus Nova is a New York company. Uh, it's American-owned and uh, operated. CEO, Andrew Entrader, who is a cousin of Victor Vexelberg's. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.